on this episode of The Georgia Rover. Just outside of Alpine Helen, Georgia, a place where you can drink in a taste of Bavaria in more ways than one, you'll find Trey Mountain Road, which runs northeast from Scorpion Hollow to its intersection with Corbin Creek Road. Upon reaching the top, you'll find that the road is closed as it turns back east, where it eventually meets up with Chimney Mountain Road. This is a bummer, man. I met up with my good friend Neil so we could break in his new Defender 110. New to the game, Trey Mountain was a great choice for Neil, since it's not a particularly challenging route from a technical perspective. But it is a fun route that does offer some rutted up sections and beautiful views. So enjoy this condensed trek up Trey Mountain Road as we get the rovers a little dirty.
All right, so here we are. Let's take a look at Neil's new vehicle. Oh, wait, no, that's mine. That's the LR4, which I love. That's true, that's true. But let's go down here and take a look at this Defender 110, which is, wow, that color is absolutely awesome. It looks fantastic with those wheels. This is one cool ride, guys. This thing is super capable, and uh, he's got all the the goodies on it that you would want right out of the gate. Of course, like all of us, he'll be adding more because <laughs> that's just the way we are. It's an addiction. We are total gear whores, so we can't help it. But let's let's take a peek inside this thing and see. Look at that. It's even got a this is a cool snorkel setup from the factory. Now was that optional or is that part of this package or what was the deal? There? It's part of the explorer package. So let's check out the interior of this Defender, which is super cool. I love the upholstery, the treatments that they did in here. It's really nice. It's a really comfortable place to be. It's got lots of great tech. Um, it's fantastic. A little light up Defender in the door sill there. And then also, I'm not sure if you can see it now, but <coughs> it's got the little, it's got the little door marker lights. Yeah, you can't see it up yeah. here. Too bright. Too bright. But it's got little projectors here underneath that show a head-on image of the Defender um, down on the ground, which is pretty cool. I would say Defender, if you're drunk, you don't realize what you're driving. That's right. That won't, that won't necessarily help you off-road, but it's, uh, it's a cool touch nonetheless. And this thing's got plenty of power. Was it 395 horsepower, 405? 406 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, so uh, it will get the job done. Of course, air suspension. And uh, gives you the flexibility to get it up where you need it to be um, in whatever terrain you're in. And uh, yeah, we're just doing a nice inaugural cruise. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Georgia Rover. It was a short one, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor and click the like button. And please also be sure to share the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope to have some more content coming for you real soon. But for now, it's JW, the Georgia Rover, signing off. Peace. Peace.